What up, YouTube? Are you a 90s baby? Because I am. So let me ask you this question. How are you? How are you really? Because I think we're in a point in our lives wherein we question ourselves. Am I doing this adulting thing, right? Is this how you adult? I know. There's a lot of uncertainties. But let me share some of the things that I've learned that will hopefully help you out. Number one. One way or another, you're gonna start being responsible. It starts with something simple, like, I don't know, your Spotify or Netflix subscription. And then all of a sudden you start paying other bills like utilities, credit cards, insurance. Personally, I find it so satisfying whenever I pay my bills on time. It's a sign that I was responsible for that month. After buying so many things for K-pop, you know, concert tickets, merchandise, light stick, photo cards. At the very least, I was still responsible. I consider that a win. Number two, life is in a race. It sure as hell feels like one, but it's not. Have you taken a good look at some people our age and they've been hitting one milestone after another? What was that? <laughs> Best example are the people from our high school. People from my high school have been hitting life milestones left and right. Some are in a serious relationship, have one or two kids, got their dream job, a car, got their own place, or moved to another country. And then there's me, a K-pop fanboy. And nowhere near in achieving those milestones. But it's okay. It's not a race. Number three. The world is cruel. To have a quick background about this lesson, I need to tell you a conversation that I had once with my dad. So during my first visit at Disneyland with my family, I was so fascinated by the park. It's Main Street! Space Mountain! Cinderella's Castle! Someone was way too excited. Oh, yuck, yuck. I over-exaggerated that a little bit, but you get the idea. I loved the feeling that I was a kid again. So my dad decided to snap me back into reality by saying, Son, the world isn't as happy place as Disneyland. So get your head out of the clouds. Now back then I just decided to shrug it off, thinking, That's a bunch of baloney. The world is a happy place. M-I-C-K-E-Y-M-O-U-S-E Mickey Mouse. <laughs> But as I got older, I just kept remembering what my dad told me because he's right. The world is a complicated place. It's not as simple as being born, going to school, going to college, get a job, get married, have kids, retire, and die. Don't get me wrong, Disney does teach you a lot of valuable things. But all of those are family-friendly lessons. That's why they're called fairy tales. Because they're not real. Aww, sad. Wait, I'm just learning this now? Ma, is Santa Claus real? Number four, life is short. You'd be surprised how fast time flies. The 90s isn't 10 years ago anymore. 10 years ago was 2009. Think about that. So please, if you ever wanted to do something, go ahead. Learn a new language, finally visit that country, apply for your dream job, or just buy the damn concert tickets. I mean, look at me. I'm finally vlogging on YouTube. I've had a lot of excuses before, but one day I just decided, screw it, I'll do it. I don't have everything planned out for the channel yet, but at least I'm getting my feet wet. I'm getting started. So please. Start chasing what you want to do. But before you do, here's number five. You can't please everyone. So yeah, good on you. You're finally starting to chase after your dreams. Be ready, people are gonna judge. No matter what it is you're doing, people will judge. People will lift you up or drag you down, especially if you post that on social media. As an example, you can find lots of people vlogging while they're doing some charity work, especially around the Christmas season. And you'd think, you'd think that people would find it admirable, inspirational, or at the very least, not hate on it. 
but nope. Some people will hate it, claiming that the vlogger or whoever it is is just doing it for attention, for fame or whatnot. So apparently doing charity work while vlogging to possibly inspire other people to do so will still get you hate. Oh, humanity! Instead of looking at the bright side, some people will still look the other way. But don't let them bring you down. As long as there's nothing wrong with what you're doing, you're making progress, and most importantly, you're having fun, keep doing it. We're all gonna die anyway, so might as well chase after your dreams before that time comes. So those are five lessons that I live up to nowadays. Hopefully, they'll be helpful to you too. Hang in there, my fellow 90s baby. And thanks for watching. Bye.